This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication. Hi, I'm Tom Olmsted, Honeywell Senior Field Service Engineer supporting the Pilatus PC-12 aircraft. The KSG-7200 Atahars unit installed on all PC-12 aircraft is a dual channel unit that combines attitude and air data sensing functions in a single unit. The Atahar senses the magnetic heading of the aircraft and its pitch, roll, and yaw attitudes, processes the data, and gives it to other aircraft systems for use in display and control. In this video, we will review the required equipment, software program, interface, and utilization of the KSG-7200 field maintenance program for use in built-in testing, discrete I.O. monitoring, and event code display for use in fault isolation. Required equipment includes the Pilatus PC-12 maintenance test box, the RS-232 serial cable, laptop computer with KSG field maintenance program, and specific requirements of these items are outlined in the PC-1247E aircraft maintenance manual and the Honeywell KSG-7200 installation manual. The KSG-7200 maintenance program is available via the My Aerospace portal. Please be aware there are several considerations for PC requirements when utilizing the KSG-7200 field maintenance program. Setup for utilization of the KSG program includes the following. Connection of the maintenance test box to the maintenance panel, energize the aircraft electrical systems, and wait two minutes after the Atahar self-test for the Atahar's unit to warm up. Use the RS-232 cable to connect the maintenance test box to the laptop. Connector J1 is utilized in conjunction with the rotary test knob. Select to add a horse. To communicate with channel B, connect the RS-232 connector to the J2 connector for a direct connection to the Adahars B channel. Though it is highly suggested to utilize a laptop with a serial port, if your PC has a USB port and no serial COM ports, you will need to obtain a USB to serial converter that functions for this use. Next, open the KSG7200 field maintenance program via the desktop icon. Click the Start Maintenance button. If a communication problem is encountered, a maintenance mode operation not allowed screen will appear. In case of this failure, check the harness connections and RS-232 port to the PC. Once the Choose Item to View page appears, the program can be utilized for numerous fault isolation functions, including display of event codes, bit results, discrete I.O. monitoring, and magnetometer built-in test. Other program options include certification file loading, part number verifications, compass swing calibrations, and Adahar's alignment, among others. To display bit test results, select the built-in test results icon. This can be utilized to verify operation of the Adahar's unit. In some instances, cockpit displays will show a failure of the Atahars unit. To confirm this failure, utilize this program in built-in test results to confirm whether the Atahars is truly failed or if a wiring discrepancy exists on the aircraft. For additional fault isolation, utilize the Display Event Codes button. The event code log will appear. Individual event codes can be selected. Once an individual event code is selected, utilize table 3-1 in the KSG 7200 installation manual 
for fault isolation guidance and or send the event code.txt file to Honeywell Technical Support for additional assistance. Close the menus in the KSG program as follows. Exit maintenance and close. Open the Adahars Channel A Essential Bus Circuit Breaker open the Adahars channel B main bus circuit breaker, disconnect the RS-232 connector on the maintenance test box. Close previously open Adahars CBs, confirmed PFDs show attitude, heading, and ADC information as normal. Confirm no Adahars cast messages are present. De-energize the aircraft electrical systems as required in accordance with the Pilatus AMM. This concludes the overview of the KSG 7200 field maintenance program usage for PC-12NG Atahar's fault isolation. For additional assistance, please contact us at our web portal. This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication.